Michael Helene with Restart. This is the September unboxing of Art Snacks Plus. Um, we are going to start with the Art Snacks Plus menu just because that's the way I did it. And uh, so here we go. This is how it comes. And this is the La Quarelle Canson Heritage Hot Press Watercolor Paper in 9 by 12. I will discuss more of that later. Uh, then we have our Uni Emot Everfine Pen. There's a set of five. I'm trying to get them focused here. It was a little bit difficult. They come in a stand, so you can stand them up. I wasn't super successful with that, but that's pretty cool anyhow. They have a super fine tip that you can uh, line at any angle or pressure. They're 0 0.004 millimeters. They are water resistant, not completely waterproof. Then we have our little jawbreaker. Of course, you always get a little snack in your box. I like them, but I don't like the snacks necessarily. My, I think it's cool that they come with it, but my kids eat them usually. We have a Kurataki Zig Combio Ambien brush pen. That's a mouthful. I got it in green. The Uni Posco brush tip paint marker in pink. Faber Castell Polychromos colored pencil in a purpley violet color. And I will give you more details on these things later. The Micron Sacra Pigma Micron pen. And of course, our little Art Snacks pretzel sticker, pretzel sticker. So we're going to go ahead and do some trial stuff. I've gotten it all organized for you. And then um, we're going to start with, hold on, what are we starting with? The Kurataki, <coughs> excuse me, Zig Hambio Mouthful Zambian Brush Pen. It retails for $9.80. The first thing you're going to do is take off the yellow, little yellow pieces. It's pretty easy to do. Then you're going to shake. I will tell you, it took a little bit of time to get the ink to come down. As you can see, it says to shake it and just give it a couple minutes. And um, the way that it works, it has like a little pen on the inside. As you can see, that's what I just did. And then after you kind of move that around, you'll see it starts to get pretty wet. And actually, once that comes down into the brush, it's a really interesting concept. Um, it feels like a brush pen, like a wet brush pen. I guess you could take the top off and use it as like a regular uh, pen uh, and use the nib, which I did uh, do a couple times. But the brush pen itself gets pretty um, thin. And I, yeah, I liked it. I liked the color. I thought it was really neat. You can store those or you can throw those away, the little yellow things. Um, now we're going to use the Uni Posco brush tip marker. It retails for $9.99. This is a staff favorite on Art Snacks. You're going to take the little caps that off, cap off and then push the button on the end. And you are going to push that button and push that button and push that button until the ink comes out. As you can see, it finally started coming out. It took me a good while. And I've got this sped up, obviously. Um... It took me, I don't know, probably a good five minutes. And then it still was kind of dry feeling. But once it sat for a little while, you can see it's still here. I'm going to, it's a little bit of a struggle. But right about here, it starts to work pretty well. And even later on, when I picked it up to use it um, on the artwork, it was beautiful. Um, I didn't use it um, a ton in my artwork, but I did love the way it felt. So um, it's got a brush nib. You, you can write it on all surface types. It's an odorless ink. It, it quickly dries. It's permanent. Um, I liked it. So the Faber-Castell Polychromos colored pencil retails for $2.90. I have a set of these that I've used before. Um, I've been very happy with them. The lifelessness and permanent. Uh, it's per life is fast and permanent. It's got a really rich color to it. It's really smooth. Um, it's really easy to get beautiful graduations, as you can see. Now, I don't do a lot of um, colored pencil. I, I do use watercolor pencils a lot, but I don't use regular colored pencils. Although after using this, I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll pick it back up. I kind of liked it. And of course, we have our Micron pen, which I'm 90% sure. Oh, it retails for $2.99. I'm like 90% sure they sent this in here just because... Um, Inktober is coming up and I did get my Inktober box, which I'm going to also be putting up soon. I didn't want to like do it too quickly and spoil the surprise. 
I got two of them, which honestly, I don't remember ordering two and cannot figure it out. But anyhow, you can see I'm just kind of playing with it. I did a little eye there quickly. Scribble eye. I'm learning how to do ink. I've done, not done ink a lot, but I am doing it. And then we have the, the uh, Canson paper, which is really nice, thick, 9 by 12 paper. It's retails for $24. Um, and it is... Oh, sorry. I turned this around the wrong way like an idiot because I keep forgetting which direction I am. Um, but it's 300, 300 GSM, fine grain surface. Um, it lays down really, really smooth. Pretty vivid, bright, white. Yeah, I liked it a lot. It was fun to, to work with. Um, and now we're going to play with the Uni Emot Everfine Pen Set of Five. You know, these are... are uh, super tiny, fine. Like I almost felt like dainty using them. Um, so you'll see all the colors, um, here, but they're durable, they're sleek, they're sophisticated. They're perfect for drawing or coloring. Again, I think that they probably are sent, were sent for obviously October coming up. It's kind of planning. This is the green one. They retail for $13.99 if I didn't say that. Um, you can use them for everyday writing, coloring, drawing. The tip won't bend or split. It's pretty sturdy. And I will say it does feel sturdy. I was very, uh, very happy with it overall. The ink was, uh, consistent and dark. And you can kind of see here, I'm just making some quick lines. Um, what is it called? Hatch marks, if you will. And this is the red. You can see the pen tip here. It's like really, really, really sturdy. And here's the red. So I got green, black, red. I think there's a blue. You can get your drink. Go get your drink. You know how to do it. Don't be lazy. I'm recording. Don't be lazy, little girl. Go get your drink. You know how to do it. So there's our blue. Yeah, I, I, I bought the... Um, the Alfonso Dunn um, books, the workbooks, because I wanted to learn how to do Inktober. And uh, then all the controversy came out with, you know, him, he and Jake Parker. And I don't know that world that well, so it was really interesting to me. But I'll tell you what, the Alfonso Dunn book, I bought both of them. I haven't gotten the other one, obviously. But the Alfonso Dunn book is freaking fantastic. If you guys have not picked that up, I'm going to tell you right now, it's taught me so much about, like, my art, the way I draw, um, and of course about pen inking, um, and you'll see that in my next video, I actually learned the technique I use from that book. Thank you guys so much. I'll be back. You're going to have to come back and see the next video to see what I do with all these supplies. But yeah, here's the art snacks plus, oh, there it is. Y'all get a sample there. That's what I learned how to do. Um, so that's going to be on the next video. Thank you.